What's up everybody? Welcome back to day six on Planet Cyrene Tree Harvesting Run. Now, I apologize for the delay. My wife is very pregnant. She's due in the next two or three weeks. Along with our other kids, it's been a lot to do. It's been very hectic along with everything else. So I do apologize for the delay as it might be a bit busier than usual coming forward. Now, I wanted to do some crafting in this one along with the results. I have 923 clicks. That's the amount of long moonleaf boards I have. So let's see what we can get out of this. I haven't done too many crafting videos, so I apologize for the setup of the screen. Uh, let's get to the loot from the last run. We've used 2100 peds so far in our tree harvesting experience. And this is the results. You can see we've got 2200 2022.85 out of 2100, which is pretty good overall, along with the amount of skill that we've gotten. Uh, I haven't had much luck selling it, that's why I'm going to try using it on a crafting run. Cyrene has a lot of good blueprints called the Cyrene Collectibles, and the furniture blueprints are the way to get them. So I figured, let's try the basic butt joint. Maybe we can get a nice red molten golem, we can get a protocore, tide claw even a drill bot, something nice. All right, so our skill gain so far overall has been 3,336 points. In the 5,100 attempts last run, we missed 417 for a total of 41.7 ped. A 91.81% attempts were successful. <sighs> it's been, it's, it's decent, it's a decent amount. I don't think that the 100% efficiency is accurate, but it's not too bad. As you can see in the crafting run so far, we have got a blueprint. I'll show those very shortly and at the end of the video. Uh, there's going to be a little break coming here because in the last video, I asked a bunch of people to take guesses at what our highest tree cutting loot would be. So that's going to be coming up here very shortly. I also have some talk about the new version update and a couple things about that. Not too much. Nothing really that much. Uh, funny story about me and my wife, <clears throat> I was sitting there, we were watching a movie, some Netflix scary movie, I don't know, didn't scare me, it scared her, obviously, right, but we were sitting there, and she's like, hey, those look like my pants, I'm like, what do you mean, these are my pants, I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, like, you know, now that you mention it, they kind of felt funny, I had her fucking pants on. But they fit like my Pumas. So I said to her right away, are you sure these aren't my Pumas? She's like, no, look, there's Tough Athletics with a flower on the back. I'm like, oh, no. She's like, did you wear those all day? It's just all day. I said, I probably wore them yesterday, too. She's like, we went to Walmart. So I, I wore her pants for like two days. I got the knees all perfect, just the way I like. And then she tells me they're hers. I said, they were in my drawer. Who's going to check to see if they were women's pants? So I have plenty of pants that look just like that. And they feel the same, too. The only difference was there was, like, no pocket on these things, right? Like, you could barely put a quarter in and it would fall out standing straight up. That should have been my first hint. Unfortunate, but what do you do? They were actually very comfortable. You wouldn't have told it. And I said, you know what? The funny thing is, you didn't recognize them either, and it's been two days. Well, we, wouldn't do, we weren't doing anything, so I was just lounging in them. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't wear pants multiple days in a row, right? But when you have four kids and a wife, things tend to get stretched to the extreme sometimes. You got a lot of cleaning to do. The house is normally a mess, unless company's coming over and then you clean like hell, right? Anyway, here we go. We got the winner coming up here very, very soon. I haven't heard from the last week's winner on day five, so if you could give me a shout in the game or on YouTube, whatever, we can connect in the game. I will give you a reward. Uh, this week's winner is popping up here any moment. Honestly, I think I'll probably take a break for the next video uh, just to keep the series you know, fresh. I don't want it to get too boring too fast or anything like that. It is quite a large project. I didn't realize that at the start. I kind of bit off more than I could chew. However, we're going to get it done. It has definitely been worth it for the skills. 
maybe not the loot in general. Uh, maybe if I was doing a smaller amount of it, I could sell it easier, but large amounts really don't need to. The long loot leaf boards are definitely worth collecting. I think going forward, I might just try to do those because of the markup on them. But we'll see. It's really hard to do. It's very time consuming to just do huge trees and try to get the long boards. I've given up a few times now. <laughs> anyway, here's the winner right now. Yoon Hajin, please message me in game. I will give you one of those guns. I'll bring it to you. You don't have to be on Cyrene either. I'll come to you. Back to the crafting. Now, I should have put the attempt number up where it was instead of the amount at the top. But I haven't done too many crafting videos, and uh, I'll know for next time. There's a few blueprints that I'd like to get from this run. Uh, so far we've only got the one, but I'm hoping our luck picks up. Now, the spring version update. Quite a bit has changed. I would like to see a few things myself going forward. Now, there is the clothing outfit from the Ultimate Moob Torellian Taylor mission chain that I'd like to see get a buff eventually or maybe there's something we can do to refine it to so it has a buff since it's been around for so long I feel it deserves its own you know upgrade in a sense and it entices people to do the ultimate noob mission and the Torellian Taylor mission which is quite a long mission chain but if you're hunting on Cyrene it goes up anyway which I think would be quite nice, especially with a little bit of a buff. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but Cyrene is known for doing some really nice things for the players. I was reading on the spring version update that they are rewarding the people that are Cyrene ambassadors, which is really cool. It's really nice, uh, especially for those that have been helping Cyrene over the years. Uh, the amount of missions that they have on this planet with rewards, though, is crazy. You got the Tanhawk Ambassador Chain, the Zora's Epic Chain, you have the Torellian Taylor Mission. Uh, I know I'm missing a few. You got the Rift Clothing Mission for the Speed Buff and the Mining and Crafting Buff. You have the Armor Plates and the Armor Missions. Like, that is a crazy amount. Plus, they have the Cyrene dailies for the tokens and the arc badges. I mean, the amount of stuff that they have to do on this planet is pretty good. Going over the new additions from the VU on February 28th, from the hard work of Belladoth and Pendelina, they've come up with the new combine, the Courier Touched Bodysuit. Visit Pendelina over at the Rift to learn more. And the spots that I was talking about with the terminals added are Lazadol Spawn, Wasp Queen Spawn, Zin Takano Sweat Circles, and various locations by the Rookie area near Panelines. I'm not positive they added revived terminals near the Wasp Queen and Lazadol, but it would be nice if they did reviving near the Rookie or quite far away from where the mob was was a little bit inconvenient, but that's just my opinion anyway. Let's check out the Lazadol spawn area. These are the terminals that they added. They are the Zin Dose, which I thought was an interesting idea. A good idea, because it keeps it looking original instead of adding the terminals. Which, I can't see Zin Dose using terminals like that. I can see them using like an ancient technology, but... Just because of the insectoid thing. However, they seem to be very friendly. They've helped me out on several occasions. I do want to check out the bodysuit. I have a few thoughts on it. I probably won't make it just because I, when I'm hunting, I really don't need the crafting or mining boost. However, it is a really cool idea how they merged it all into one. But since I already have both I, I don't have all five pieces created, though, to merge them all together. The five piece and the four piece. Is the, the run boost set needs five pieces in total, and you would need four pieces from this. Here, this will explain it better. Hey, I think I've seen you around the rift a bit. I've got some info 
between Belladoth and myself, and we've been able to make a new combine. If you have all nine upgraded clothing pieces between the Duster Courier and the Torelia Touched and some Arc Badges, you've got yourself a powerful bodysuit. Which, it really seems like a good idea. I think that's a smart, you know, especially if it could be worn with armor, you get quite a bit out of it. And it's a pretty cool looking suit. I, I'm hesitant. I want to know from someone if you can wear it with armor. Like I said, I already have both buff sets, so I don't think I probably won't make it. Maybe one day, I guess. But here you can see the skill gain, construction gain, and you get an increased carry capacity of 20 kilos. Run speed by 25, which is a really cool idea. However, I like the, I, the, I like the look of the clothes and the outfits that I got. And I don't want to give those up for a bodysuit. So I, I, what's what's your thoughts on it? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think that it... Will you do it personally? Or will you leave your sets the same? I'm, I'm curious to know myself because I, I'm, I thought it was a cool idea. I rushed over there to try to be the first one. And then I thought, you know what? I already have both. And I really like the, the blue one that I have on right now, especially. It's one of my favorites. Baby blue. I mean, it just has a nice look to it. I really enjoy it. With the white shoes that I have and the white hat, I feel it's nice. It's a cool thing. It's a cool outfit. And I really like my siren clothes and my siren gear. But I get, you know, maybe I get a little too attached to some of the stuff I have. I would sell it. But, I mean, I just don't need to sell it right now. When the time comes that I have to sell it, then so be it. Or I pass it down from generation to generation, and hopefully my grandkids can fulfill this legacy. <laughs> That's what kind of game Entropia is. I laugh, but I shouldn't really, because it's more like a world, its own cash economy. I mean, that changes it from a video game. Is if I was playing some average video game with hundreds of thousands of dollars, I could blow it stupidly. Like in Grand Theft Auto, when I had a ton of money, I would go buy everything I wanted. It wouldn't be like that in real life. I mean, it's not the same. And that's the same with Entropia. This is a real world. This is just because we're in avatars doesn't mean that the people behind them aren't real. People spending their money aren't real. So that changes it from a video game, for me anyway. Which I really enjoy. And these basic butt joints off topic. Well, I guess back on topic because we drifted a little bit there, but that's okay. It's got to kill some time in the video. Basic butt joints. Not really sure what I can use those for. I believe the majority of the uses are on Tulin. Now, I would like to see a few blueprints put on Cyrene. I believe I've made that known. I think a limited version of some guns would be really cool, like an Oz pin line. Just like the, kind of like the R Matrix on Calypso. Or some form of, of a limited blueprint like that. That's reusable with a few, with some materials, right? I mean, Rocktropia has its grind host. Arcadia, I believe, has its, so I'm not, a, I'm not big on Arcadia, so I shouldn't talk about it. Uh, Calypso has R Matrix. Cyrene has the Oz pin line, which would make a really good limited, uh, now, I know they have the lootable ones, but it'd be cool if you could craft them as well. However, you can't ask for everything. I mean, there's only so much they can do. They can only keep so many people happy, right? There's always going to be someone that's not happy, and there's always going to be people that really like it. But at the end of the day, what they're doing is benefiting the planet, and that's all you can ask for. So, as you can see, we had total attempts, 1,151... Item count, we got one Sirene Collectible Drillbot Blueprint, one, three Sirene Collectible Jelly Worms, two Sirene Collectible Merfolk and Scout, and one Sirene Collectible Stalker Gen 1 Blueprint. Uh, you can see we got a little bit of shrapnel. Total ped earned 342.81 overall. Let's see how it plays out at the end. We started with 893. That was total material. Obviously, we're not going to use all of that. So let's see what we did get. And let's see what we had for blueprints. I appreciate everybody that's been watching this. 
uh, take a guess at the next highest loot, although the next video will be probably a week or two away. So if you want to take a guess at the next tree loot, do so in the comments, and I'll be giving away another gun. So these are the blueprints we got. We got the Merfolk and Scout. A decent markup on it. I believe the best one is going to be the drill bot, so we can check that one out. This is the Stalker Gen, which is a nice one, 19. So if, if you got 10, 19, there's 29 ped. Um, what was the next one here? The Siren Collectible Drill Bot, 50 ped for that one, that's a nice one. Not sure if you would still get that, but... I will count it as so. The Jelly Worms, 5 ped or so. You see, they all have a decent markup on them. We got the Merfolk and Scout, and I believe that was it. Those are the separate ones. We got multiples of a couple of them. The Merfolk and Scout and the Jelly Worm. Uh, we got 807 ped in total loot back, along with the blueprints. I feel we did pretty well. It broke even. It was an interesting experience. We could have got some really nice blueprints, but... Maybe in the next one. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for being patient and waiting for this video. I apologize for it taking so long. Come to Cyrene, have some fun, enjoy the missions, enjoy everything that they've been doing because uh, this planet is going to be going far. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.